guys this is stephanie welcome to stephanie's journey for those of you who are here for the very first time welcome and for those of you returning welcome back if you have not been here before i would love to have you as part of the stephanie's journey's family just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification bell beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future today i am enjoying a vegan chewy oatmeal raisin cookie it is so delicious it stays chewy for days after you've cooked it if they last that long so if you're interested in seeing how i make my vegan chewy oatmeal raisin cookies then stick around and stay tuned okay guys these are all the ingredients you need you need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees and what we have here is a half a cup of raisins a half a cup of oats a half a cup of all-purpose flour a fourth a cup of oat flour and you can click my link up here and you link to how i made oat flour we have two tablespoons of raw cane sugar we have a fourth a cup brown sugar we have two tablespoons of almond milk we have one teaspoon of vanilla we have a half a teaspoon of baking soda and a half a teaspoon of baking powder i hit it and it kind of they kind of combined and we have a fourth a cup which is four tablespoons of vegan butter and what i'm going to do is put this vegan butter in the microwave to melt it in this cup here and what i like to do is put a thing of water in the microwave with it so that the butter don't splash i think i shared that in one of my other videos as a tip but in case you didn't watch that then you don't know so what i'm going to do is move these off to the side and what i'm going to do is pour in my raisins my oatmeal my flour and i left some raisins in there and i don't want to do that and my oat flour i want to mix it up to separate make sure i get the raisins separated pretty good because they clump together so I like to put them in there with the dry ingredients for that reason pour in my baking soda and my baking powder let's get my butter out and I just love that trick I don't know where I learned it but I just love it all right and what I'm going to do is start incorporating my butter And a dry mixture which again that is a fourth of a cup then pour in my two cups of almond milk my brown sugar which is a fourth of a cup and then two tablespoons of raw sugar in the raw you want it to be in the consistency where you can roll it in balls so when it cooks so it don't spread you know like wildfire and you have flat cookies you want the cookies to raise so that is the perfect consistency that i wanted but make sure the flour is well combined like a dough so you're kind of kneading it I always have something that's trying to get away. Oh, and I forgot to put in my... I don't know how I forgot that. Good thing I looked over there. I was cleaning up. But that is my vanilla. So let's get that incorporated. And make sure your hands are clean. This is pretty much like thick, you know, like a dough. <laughs> and I have a silicone pan here. And I'm gonna turn it this way so I can get both of them in frame. And I make about nine cookies out of this. But I like my cookies pretty big. I don't like small, just little small cookies. So what I do is just take some about a half palm full and roll it up in little balls and I try to make about nine of these for this mixture if you need more cookies than that make it bigger 
if you need less then make a smaller batch and these cookies can be frozen when I freeze them I get them like this and roll them and then just put them in the freezer frozen like this and I can get about two two of them out at a time and just put them in my toaster oven and bake them so that I'm not eating a whole bunch of them at once because I'm pre-diabetic and I don't need all of that sugar but I have a taste for something sweet then that's what I do and you can store them in an airtight container in the freezer and that works perfectly all right here we go we got your nine cookies here on the pan Make, trying to get them evenly distributed so that they don't run together. I'm gonna cook them. All right, and that's it. We're gonna put these in the oven for 15 to 17 minutes. Depends on your oven. Just check them at 15 and see how they are at 350 degrees. And if you have a gas or electric oven, they kind of vary. So I have an electric. So here we go. Okay guys, now it is time for the taste test. These cookies, they are warm and very, very soft. You can see that. They're still warm. Let's break them apart. Look at that inside of that cookie. There we go. See that cookie? It is chewy and gooey, especially when it's still hot and it stays this way. This day is so good. They're dangerous. I ain't got no business eating no cookies. And they're so moist and fluid. Y'all about to try these. 20 minutes to cook. I had them in the oven for 17 minutes. In my oven various wherever you live if you high elevation low elevation what have you i'm in georgia so i'm not high elevation I'm talking with my mouth full per usual but try these cookies they are freaking delicious the camera's crooked i think but who cares <laughs> all right guys thank you for stopping by my channel i hope you enjoyed the video you guys please stay stay far please stay safe out there social distance and yeah thank you guys for stopping by my channel and i look forward to seeing you all in my very next video <laughs> bye bye well finally cooking <laughs>